go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be doing the Deathless King Groot versus Onslaught. It's the last objective that I have. It's not a must do, but currently it is the only way to awaken the Deathless King Groot. Now, I know some people like uh, King Groot as well as Deathless King Groot. I'm not really a big fan because I don't like long fights. And he seems to excel. He's very tanky. He's sustainable and all of that, right? However, for this particular fight, he is not a good option, okay? But that's what you have to do if you want to awaken him. Now, you can skip it. And to save yourself some stress, I say, skip it. There will be a way to awaken him in the future, okay? <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is doing that. But in the future, there will be a way to awaken him. Now, for the first 10 minutes of this fight, you will see me trying to just get maybe 10% of his health off. Because I figure... If I can do 10%, I'll just revive my way for the rest of it. And that's what I did. Uh, you'll watch me just keep trying, messing up, usually getting down to like 93%. Uh, and so I'm just like, okay, keep trying until I get to 10% uh, of his health off. So at 90%, that's when you're going to see me start reviving. And this fight was not fun. Now, I practiced and learned how to evade Onslaught's special one, okay? And that was an accomplishment in and of itself. But what makes this fight so terrible, not just the nodes, but the AI, you will watch if you decide to watch this and i don't know if you want to watch it maybe watch it um in 2x or 3x because this is a 40 minute video and i'm not gonna stay here talking for 40 minutes but i wanted you to know what you'll be looking at so first 10 minutes trying to get it down to to 90 percent of his health uh down to 90%, then I just start reviving. And I have to deal with the AI that doesn't want to fight. You can watch it. Some of the times, the AI will just walk up to me. And as soon as I try to hit him to, to push him back or something like that, he intercept me. There's nothing I can do when the AI does that. That's not fun. And I'm really hoping that they are making changes. I've seen some posts from Kabam that indicate they might be making some changes to various areas. And I'm hoping that it is a mindset shift. And I'm hoping, this is hope, because I have no information. I'm hoping that going forward, they will have relearned how to make things fun because this fight right here was not fun not fun at all okay i did it with hercules that one wasn't too bad you know i mean it's hercules uh you know i could have gotten a solo but didn't really care so much about that and then i did it with photon that one wasn't too bad either you know and then then 
Now, Photon was a um, was an objective for I think Valiant. Now you could have done two and one by using Shong Chi and doing it again. I might have ranked him up, but I really just wanted to use Hercules. People were asking me on my live stream why uh, I used Hercules and not Shong Chi, who could have done two, you know, objectives at once. One, I didn't have my Shong Chi ranked up all the way. He's like rank four. And two, I just wanted to use Hercules. But the Void fight, I thought the Void fight was bad. No. The Void fight took a little bit. This was twice as bad. And it was twice as bad. The AI was horrible in all of the fights. But in this particular case, you have the dull node, which ironically, that's the node that they introduced to deal with Scarlet Witch back in the day. And when they were saying, oh yeah, see, if we don't nerf Scarlet Witch, then you have to deal with this dull node. So they nerfed Scarlet Witch and we didn't see the dull node until now. Um, I think it was in one of the other um, story contents. I can't remember. But that dull node didn't suddenly become a good node to use. So the fact that they chose to use the dull node, knowing the history, tells me a lot. Have they forgotten how to have fun? It seems like it. Because this was not fun in the least. Now, I decided to go ahead, and of course, you don't have to do it. That's always the um, narrative. You don't have to do all this content or whatever. Save it. Okay? Just save it. You're making a game. And you should be open to criticism as to the pain points of your game. Don't be dismissive. We know we don't have to do the content, but we love the game. So we want to do the content, but we want the content to be fun and enjoyable. Is that so wrong to want your game to be fun and enjoyable? Really? So I slogged through this and for a bit, I, I almost wanted to throw it. I almost wanted to throw my, my iPad, but I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. So I just kept reviving, fighting, getting them down a little bit. Sometimes I just quit the fight. I'm just like, you know what? I ain't even going to bother with it because he didn't want to fight. He clearly didn't want to fight. You know, he just keep dashing back, dashing back. There was one time, um, every time I went to attack him, he dashed back. And there were twice that I fired the um, special off. Now, I've done this in many areas. I'll dash back when they dash at me, and I'll fire an intercept with my special, right? I tried that twice with him, and you know what happened? He dashed and quickly dashed back and, and blocked. Or dashed all the way back, right out of it. And I'm just like, seriously? Why would you make an AI like this? Why would you think this was fun? This is not fun. And I've heard that they, and I see that they've um, increased the difficulty to raids. Is this another case of if it's not broke, we'll fix it? Because initially, raids were horrible. People complained left and right, and it was bad. Then they adjusted it. And I was actually having fun in raids. It's not supposed to be Everest content. It's not supposed to be content that, you know, you have a really rough time with. It's something you're going to be doing, you know, regularly. And I was having fun. I should have known better. Because here they come. Oh, wait. Hmm. You're having fun? Must be too easy. Let's fix that. Really? I don't even know who's making these decisions. Really, I don't. You know, you got different types of players in the game. And some players, they want to challenge. 
you can make something challenging and fun. I point to fights like Bahamut. I point to fights like Superior Kang, Sorostes. These fights are challenging, but they're fun. They're one of my, you know, all three of those that I mentioned are like my favorite fights in this game. Okay? So, anyway, I'm going to get out of the way. You can look at this, speed it up. I don't recommend watching this regular uh, at regular time unless you just want to. But I found this not challenging. I found this not fun. What I found it was boring. 40 minutes of boredom. Okay? Now, one thing, and you will want to see this, after this video is put up there, um, when I publish it, I'm going to publish a crystal opening because I needed to cheer myself up after all of this because this was horrible. So I claimed the rewards from the, um, you know, milestone rewards. And then I did a crystal opening. You're going to want to see that crystal opening. Okay. Anyway, take care. Hit the like button if you want to share in my pain or the dislike button if you don't like what I was saying about this game right now and my hope that it improves because right now it is not good. And several of my friends have left the game. Some of them um, have not returned. Some of them stay in the community, you know, they still uh, hang out, but they're not playing the game anymore. And I'm really hoping that Kabam can turn this around, okay? Because this is not fun. This is not fun at all. And if a game is not fun, why are you playing it? Do you like pain? I don't. So either I start avoiding the painful parts, but if they start putting things in there, that as a free-to-play player is the only way I can get it, then I don't feel like I have an option of just not doing it if I want the stuff that they put out there. So in order to get these things, I want to play the game. I know it's a weird concept, but I actually want to play the game to earn the things that I use in the game. Go figure. Anyway, take care. Uh, and uh, you've got what? It's going to be another 30 minutes of this video, okay? Of watching me just slog it out. So take care, and you all have a blessed day.
arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.